Nicht, dass ich euch jetzt wende, ich würde euch verarschen. Ne? Ist da jetzt mal 6 Uhr morgens. Da. Ja, das, das, das ist die voll bescheuert. Ne? Ganze Mäue, die Wichser da. Da hörst du sogar ein Echo, so laut ist das. Echo! Packet. Why do the Thai people seem to have everything as loud as possible? Thais perceive music volume as opposed to most foreigners seemingly beautiful. It can actually no longer be loud, the pain threshold is exceeded at weddings, funerals, or other festivals. Each time a huge car with a dense wall full of oversized speakers and amplifier systems is rented. After half an hour at the latest, the feeling of becoming deaf is established. The ties bothers little, no one would come up with the idea to complain. Not enough with the music, even in speeches, be it by the monks or the mayor of the village, the bearable volume is clearly exceeded. The time is interested in none of the speakers. In a sonorous voice, the head of the village announces the latest news. On neighbors, the ties take almost no consideration. Whoa, the Farang, foreigner, has a Thai neighbor, who party with his buddies night after night and pull in Thai pop at its best. Sleep is unthinkable. For the Thai's null problemo. He pulls his pop in while the wife and kids watch one soap opera after another at full volume. A great soundscape for those who like to torture themselves. Many speak loudly, almost screaming at each other when talking in the immediate vicinity. Off topic but they think it's terrible when a farang is upset and raises his voice. The car, truck, and motorcycle exhaust systems are simply cut off to make them louder. It was mentioned in a recent post on TV that people buy new cars and trucks and cut off the exhaust system as soon as they get home. Crazy or? When they play music at parties or at home, they play it so loud that it sounds distorted, sounds bad, and 100 yards away makes your ears fly away. Buddhist village and city temples are also among the worst noise sources in the world. Thai malls are like oversized boom boxes with torn woofers, and the heights are full, as everywhere. Thais are unaware or worried that their noise could affect others nearby. 
Each village has public slash commercial speakers to convey a message through loudspeakers. These speakers are used for advertising product or people, politicians, but it always has to be very loud. The hardware typically consists of horn speakers, which are either pulled through every city in the country or pick up trucks that drive slowly through the city. Oh, and such messages cannot be spoken, they must be shouted and get stuck in the red of the VU meter, distortion, headaches, and utter annoyance is guaranteed. The noise is still bothering, at least within 2 kilometers. There is no big plot. These noise makers are just totally unreasonable and arrogant. When you say something like please lower volume in any of the above situations, you will be laughed out at best. Depending on alcohol levels, drug levels, social status, or lack of intelligence, there is also the possibility that a benign complaint may cause indifference, rudeness, anger, or worse. See link. Also, one of the main reasons why no Thai ever complains directly to the noise maker is the deep-rooted Asian preference for facial savings. There is the concern of the complainant that he slash she could lose his face, as a sissy or spoiler, when making a request, but the more pressing is the concern that the person making the complaint will be offended. He has no eggs. The morning government mandated wake up call on the village speakers, can begin at 6 o'clock in the morning with a phoneme, which puts a Pink Floyd concert in the shade. The same can be repeated in the afternoon. The same counts for the countless village temples. In addition, the ties like no noise. Except, it is caused by themselves. Everywhere there is at least one full idiot with a music bar on four wheels. The idiots drive, if you are unlucky to your property, and open the doors of the car on white. Dan, you can see the huge, built in speakers, which even with colorful, flickering LEDs indicate that they are really there. Then the things roar, that you do not understand your own word anymore. The ties sat down for hours and eat, drink. Of course, garbage will be left behind. The ties do not know or understand that persistent noise not only damages their hearing, but also has immense effects on the cardiovascular system and sleep behavior. Apart from that there are also almost always small children and sick elderly people. People who have to go to work in the morning or go to school have to go past these brainless idiots. Only recently did I see such a complete idiot. He sat at the mixing desk at a very loud concert and had very young children, maybe one year old, sitting on his lap in the evening. Totally irresponsible to the child and shows to what extent the IQ has progressed here. By the way, ties take their children, and they have more than enough of them, until late at night. No matter how old the children are or where the parents go. The children then sit in front of the smartphone and a dementia is thus inevitable, apart from the loss of hearing. Here you can safely say the stupid people are always loud.